Hi and welcome to Friday afternoon slash early evening. My kitchen and today for Mrs. Rogers we are going to make cinnamon donuts and an iced donut from scratch. Never made them from scratch so it may all go belly up but hopefully it won't. Uh, it is International Donut Day so why not try, give it a go. Surprisingly easy from where I've got to. So first of all, I'm just going to very quickly talk about the cinnamon that we're going to use. Uh, I have chosen to use the Mrs. Rogers Premium Ceylon Cinnamon Powder. Salon, sorry, not Ceylon, Salon trying to be perfect and it's not. So just so you've got that in your cupboard, if not any sort of Mrs. Rogers cinnamon or cinnamon stick, but we'll talk about that later. I'm going to jump first to the dough which I prepared earlier. This is one I prepared earlier. Purely because this needs to sit for 15 minutes before we can stick it in the deep fryer. And then I will, while that's sitting, jump back to the actual recipe. So bear with me. So this has been proving now for the past two hours and it has near tripled in size actually so you can see it's a nice dough very similar to bread um, just hopefully a lot sweeter so I'm just got plain flour here and I'm just going to break that up and I'm just going to carefully pull it out now all I want to do is just knead it for about two minutes just to get it smooth and to a stage where I can roll it to about one centimetre thick. So today we're going to make cinnamon sugar as well to put on our freshly deep fried cinnamon. And I'm also hoping that they won't be too hot and I can show you a really pretty iced cinnamon donut. Wow, it actually smells like, uh, like donuts. Funny that. So you do need a deep fryer or a big pot of oil, one or, one or the other, because really cinnamon, oh, donuts just aren't donuts unless they're full of grease. I have seen several different donuts where you can sort of shallow fry them or oven bake them or just add extra, but really if you're going to have a donut, you might as well do it properly. <laughs> Okay, so that's feeling nice. The dough is quite tough. Um, it's certainly got some resistance there. So, just on again some more flour because we need to roll this dough to about a centimetre thick. My good old trusty rolling pin that I've had for years and a day. And we just want to keep moving and rolling. You can see the the dough bouncing back there, that's good. So just take your time and slowly push it out, roll it out. Just going to sprinkle a little bit more flour on there till it's about a centimetre thick. I'm just going to turn that around there. Now let's see how that's going. It's probably looking pretty good. I might just push it in a little bit more. Just get rid of that guy. So now for our cutters, I've got about eight centimeter cutter. These were just cutters I picked up from Kmart, really cheap. You get a few in a pack and they're plastic. So they're great for Play-Doh or any sort of cutting. And Lucky I drink alcohol because I've got my measurer. And funnily enough, the little size is the perfect three and a bit centimetre cutter for our holes. So, you could probably do any shape and you can certainly do sort of, yeah, you, I mean you wouldn't have to do the, the holes if you, if you don't want to. Don't forget to like and share our page while I'm doing this. And if you've got any questions, please let me know. So as you can see, I'm just slowly doing this. Right, now I'm going to do the middle part. Now don't throw away these holes. 
I'm going to try and cook them as well if I can get the whole out. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to pop that just aside. I'm not actually going to cook it on that tray, it's just purely so that it doesn't stick. So, and as you can see, I'm putting the holes there as well. So I think these are going to be nice fat donuts actually. They feel really good. Hi everybody. Welcome. Today we're making homemade donuts for International Donut Day. So I've just rolled out my batter, or my dough I should say, and I'll actually come back to show you how I made the dough because it actually takes around an hour and a half to two hours for the dough to prove properly. So I thought I'd start off with this and these guys are going to sit for 15 minutes before we even cook them. So I'm just going back to kneading it all together and then I'm going to roll it out again like you would for biscuits or anything that you can get more out of. Now this lot I actually want to get a little bit thinner because I had an idea and it may fail but if it works it'll taste really good. Now don't forget to like and share our page. Cinnamon donuts made from home which are hopefully super yummy. I'm sure my kids will love them. Now this this one I'm actually just doing a little bit smaller than a centimetre, not too much but just a little bit and I'm wanting to do the same process but what I'm actually going to do may or may not work. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that aside for later and I'm again going to cut my holes out Okay, with my trusty cutter, I'm going to put my holes on my tray to the side and then I'm going to show you what I've done over here. Let me just get these guys up here. Okay, sorry I hope this isn't too noisy for you now. I thought it'd be really nice to put a piece of apple somehow in the middle of it. So what I've done is I've got an apple and I actually used this part and sort of pushed it in just to make it easier. You can do it before or after you cut but I found it quite nice to do it before especially when you get to that hard bit of the core with the seeds because see he just comes out nice. So I am actually going to try and push this part flat, stick my apple circle in there then oh I should have got myself a little bit of water but I'll use a little bit of milk because that comes later on and I'm just going to run that milk around the edge I'm just going to squash this bit flat and look that might be really yum on the inside okay so I'm going to put him there I'm going to do the same with this one if you've got any questions or any ideas, flick them through, let me know. Or if you've tried making donuts before and you see I'm doing the wrong thing, let me know too. Because I've never made them before, but I know people who have. Now I'm actually going to just do a very small, steal a very small sprinkle because nothing is nicer than apple and cinnamon. Okay, yum yum. I don't think I had a lunch today or a very big one so I'm actually quite hungry. So there's those guys. So you need to let this now sit for 15 minutes, a good 15 minutes, just like that. They can sit to the side. I should probably roll the rest of that out but maybe I'll have a chance to do that later. So now I'm going to show you the dough how you get to that stage basically. So in a bowl you want 
three and a quarter cups of flour. Now don't worry about the measurements guys, I'll put the recipe up after we've finished the live. You need a quarter of a cup of caster sugar, sprinkle that in there. You need three teaspoons of yeast, or it was around one packet, which off the top of my head was 80 grams, but again, I'll triple check that and pop that in the uh, recipe. And we just want a pinch of salt. So I'm just using the Mrs. Rogers premium sea salt grinder there. My pinch of salt, because salt, as we know, brings out flavor. Saving the rest of it for later. And we just want to stir that all together. It's pretty boring, really. You don't need to pay too much attention. You just really want that yeast to spread around and the sugar to be there because sugar is what, heat and sugar is what makes the yeast activate. So make a little well. Well, well, well. And to that, we are adding three egg yolks. Now, you can save the whites, you can always chuck them in and, and make some kind of fancy egg cloud, which you'll see earlier. You need whites for that. Uh, you could always just make pavlova or meringues with your egg whites. We need 100 grams of melted butter. This is not a Weight Watchers special. And a cup of warm milk. Now, I'm fairly sure that should be warm enough. I just warmed that in the microwave and then we just want to fold that all together. You don't have to be too careful, you just want it to mix. And we just want to make a dough. Just want to stir that up. As you can see it's coming together quite nicely. Certainly doughish. Oh, slipping. Okay, and you don't have to be too particular because we're actually going to fold this out and knead it all together. So, oh, sorry. Now, I'm just going to add more flour to my surface. And I'm just going to pull that out, making sure I get all of it. Because I don't want to leave any of it in there, because that could be one less donut. Okay, now, now that you've got this, remove all your jewellery because there's nothing worse than having donut batter or dough squished in your rings. So, and just knead it until it's a really smooth consistency. You just want to make sure everything is not thrown at your jumper and everything is going to work for your yeast. So now we're just kneading, kneading, kneading. Now if you guys have any questions, please flick them through. If you just want to tell us how your day's going or what you're having for dinner as well, do that. Let's have a chat. So, where you're from, yeah, where you're watching us from. How your week was at work. What you did for National Biscuit, Biscuit Day, or International Biscuit Day, I should say, which was on Monday. Okay, so as you can see, that dough is quite nice. It's not sticky at all. It's not sticking to my hands. And what we want to do with this guy is pop it back into our bowl. Just sprinkle a little bit more flour around the bottom, just so in case it sticks. Pop it back into your bowl. Cover it with cling wrap or even it, just a tea towel is fine. Um, and just pop it somewhere, it doesn't even have to be warm, just somewhere that you can, it's not cold. So top of the fridge, in the hot water cupboard, anything like that would be superb. Let me just dust off my hands now. Now I'm gonna try something a bit tricky today to teach us about cinnamon. So I'm going to ask my friend Alexa, who featured in one of our other films, uh, one of our other Facebook Lives, if she can tell us. Alexa, tell us about cinnamon. Oh, no, I did it wrong, sorry. Alexa, tell us about cinnamon. Cinnamon has a few meanings, as a noun. One, aromatic bark used as a spice. Two, tropical Asian tree with aromatic yellowish-brown bark. Source of the spice, cinnamon. Three, 
Spice from the dried aromatic bark of the Ceylon cinnamon tree, used as rolled strips or ground. There you go. Who would have thought? Has anybody else got an Alexa? I love her. Mainly for playing music when I'm cooking, because if your hands are grubby and you need, you know, just something to keep you going, uh, she's brilliant. Right, so let's get on to this. We might very quickly, because those just need to sit for another five minutes, I'll teach you how to do just a cinnamon sugar coating. Cinnamon sticks fell down there. Okay, so in here I've just got one cup of uh, sugar. And I'm using caster sugar just because it is finer. You could even use icing sugar if you wanted to, although I prefer the caster sugar. And I'm just going to carefully squash out those lumps. And in here I've got two teaspoons of cinnamon. Now the difference in flavors between the two different cinnamons uh, this one that I'm using today is a lot smoother in flavor and it comes from Sri Lanka. I'm sure Sri Lanka? Or India. Or India. That side of the world. So it is from the same family, it's just it's a, it's a specific, uh, specific type or breed. Type, type of cinnamon tree. So there we go, cinnamon sugar. Now this is really nice if you have um, hot buttered white toast to sprinkle that over top. Super yum. And let it all go melty together as well. So there, homemade cinnamon sugar. Smells divine. Okay, now one of the reasons we kept these little holes is because I'm actually going to use them to test the oil. Now your oil needs to be at about 180 degrees Celsius and I've had my deep fryer on for a good half hour now. Normally takes about 15 minutes but I wanted to make sure it was good and hot. So obviously it's oil. Please be aware uh, what to do if it suddenly catches fire. You just want to cut all air away from it. Um, and yeah, just, just be confident when you're working with oil because it's not exactly the fun thing to do if it does catch on fire. I have just used canola oil. I'm not being flash. Olive oil wouldn't take the heat or the length of time it's been heated up to and rice bran oil is just too expensive. I've got three liters in there so it's quite a lot. So I'm just going to pull that off. My little deep fryer came with a nifty little basket which is quite handy so that you don't have to get too close to the oil. So I'm just going to put in a few because as I said I've never done this before and I've got tongs just at the ready in case I need it. Actually let me just pop my raising dough over there just in case and I'll pop my... Right so I'm just going to put it in around about 40 seconds. Oh yes it's certainly bubbling I don't know if you can see that there. And the donuts have now risen, apart from being stuck on the bottom. I feel like a, like a donut place where you watch them. So you're just looking for a nice golden brown, a proper donut color like you would buy at the shops. So I'm not sure if you can see that quite well, but they have pretty much doubled in size, which is a great, great thing to know obviously means I did something right and we're just waiting until that comes to a nice golden brown proper donut colour. So I'm using my tongs there just to, to turn it round, pop them in. Now my deep fryer isn't an expensive one, I managed to pick this one up brand new for $30 because I hate wasting money on, on things. If you're going to use it all the time, great. If you're not like me, it'll be once in a blue moon for a special treat or a Mrs. Rogers Facebook Live. Uh, you don't want to spend too much money on it. Also, handy hint, because you can't really store it with the oil in it, keep your empty bottles that the oil came out of 
and once it's cool enough just put the oil back in the bottle and write old oil or used oil or something on it so that you know next time you want to make donuts you can use the same oil if you're using uh, your oil for fish in that I wouldn't reuse it but I think donuts would be okay so as you can see I'm just moving them around just to just to make sure they get brown all over and if anybody's got any questions or want to tell us what what you're having to drink what you're doing later on let us know don't forget to ask the messenger bot about cinnamon too she'll be able to tell you the differences much better than I can I just know how it tastes okay so that's nearly there I'm nearly happy with that uh, yep I'll take them out so I'm just going to leave them to drip there for a minute and bring my icing sugar a bit closer and I'm going to pop these in here oh my goodness I'm so hungry now you kind of want you've got to do this when they're hot hence why we're only doing a few at a time as well because that's the, the, the residue oil that's left on it is what helps it to helps the sugar to stick now I'm going to put some over here okay oh goodness me they're yum now let's do a real donut I've been working really hard on the camera so at any point just feel free to to chuck one over to you when you're not come. when you're not burning your, when they're not going to burn yeah. so I'm yeah. just going to put a real one in what well, real one half a one don't know if donuts is in your diet is it so I've got an apple one and a donut one there going to chuck them in, well not chuck, carefully place and they're starting to sizzle which is great nothing better than sizzling donuts and if you saw my uh, prawn recipe earlier in the week uh, with coconut and I'm um, off the top of my head I think it was uh, Ceylon pepper and a couple of other spices you could use this deep fryer for the same same purpose just different oil because that gets really stinky so they are cooking really nicely bubbling definitely going to have to do some exercise after this so and they have doubled in size as well which is great it means that the, the yeast has worked the dough has fluffed and it's all looking superb I'm going to throw in a couple of these dots as well if I can carefully do it without hurting myself too much okay that's all our plugs don't want to waste them our donut holes now I'm just going to turn these guys over oh my god that apple one <gasps> is looking divine oh and they look like real donuts and my cameraman's trying to pinch one so let me just pop that in his face how they taste that's really good oh my god that is really nice that's really nice mmm yeah oh nice you can um, you can mm. taste the difference between the store bought ones with the di different flavour of the cinnamon. Yeah, you can. Mm. It's a lot. It feels fresher. It feels. Um, it doesn't feel as oily. Mm. Funnily enough. Yep. Definitely. Mm. Nice guys, mm. make it. Yep. Go get your deep fryer. Yeah, that's a legitimate difference between the mm. ones in the, 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 the store bought and the. Yeah. He's got a little bit more to go. Excuse the sound of the kids yes, in the background. I'm sorry, the children are very excited that the donuts are cooking. So. so, as you can see, it's not scary working with oil. You've just got to stand by it, never walk away from it, just control it. I have got this on a um, breadboard. I don't think the insulation's particularly awesome, but it's probably okay, but just for safety. Just so that I don't get a burnt hole in my uh, kitchen top. Okay, how are these guys looking? Oh my goodness. 
Oh. Now you could make these into a full dessert. Just have one with a, a little bit of cream or, or chantilly cream even with some frozen berries or pineapple juice. You could even make a uh, Nutella one. That would be super nice. Okay. It's starting to get there. Okay, now I'm just going to lift those out and drain. My holes aren't done, but the other guys are, and I really don't want them to burn. So this one I'm going to hopefully, if it cools quick enough, show you about icing that guy, but this one I'm not going to. Oops, I should have put a little bit more... Um, a little bit more milk around the edge to close the batter on that one. But I don't think anybody will say complain. It's like a donut burger. It is a bit like a donut burger. And hey, yeah, make a donut burger. Just, just show off. Imagine whipping these up at a kid's party or something. It would be so impressive. Well, I'm just going to... I'm also using uh, plastic end tongs purely because the metal ended tongs actually might pinch a uh, shape into the donut. So I thought I'd be, I thought I would be clever. Now, which is the one with the apple? This guy's got the apple. I'm just going to pinch that a bit more around the edges. Here we go, and squash it in a bit more, just to make sure those edges don't come apart like the other one. I'm going to lift that up. The rule is to lift it up in between donut takings and put that other guy in and we'll cook some more. Anybody got any comments? Is anyone watching? Got a couple of watchers out there? Anybody hate donuts? <laughs> now we we'll just cook these guys. Now those other two have risen to the top now. You could even do like a nice chocolate dipping sauce for your um, for your donut holes. This guy seems to want to flip over all the time, so I'm just gonna hold it in place. Now with the little holes, I'm just gonna do this. Get them all covered, melty, melty goodness. As I said, you want a little bit of oil and heat on them because that's what makes the sugar stick. Here we go. Homemade cinnamon sugar. Great on buttery toast if you can't or don't have time to make your cinnamon donuts or your donut mixture. Look at those, they're looking really cute. You could do those for a baby shower. No, just that. Still got a little bit longer to go. Now what I've got here is I've just got some green icing, just your normal butter and icing sugar icing mixed with a little bit of water, just to a slightly runnier consistency than I would use in a cake. And I'm just going to fill this donut. Still a bit warm, but it might work. I will show you what I'm hoping to do for my kids mainly. Now, so I just want to dip the donut. This is how they do it in the shops, apparently. You dip your donut, you pull them up, and you sit them like that, and you put sprinkles. Oh, look. That's very pretty. Probably a little bit runny there, guys, just because the donut's hot, but still works a treat. Looks pretty, too. I'll pop that back on my donut plate. How are these guys going? Oh, goodness me. We might not need dinner tonight. Okay. Let me just clear up some room here so that I can show you and wrap it up at the end. So, this is the selection of donuts we've made today. Homemade cinnamon donuts, homemade iced donut, and the piece de resistance, which I am going to cut in half, and we'll have a see what it looks like, guys. Oh, 
hear that crunch with a slice of apple in the middle and a piece of it in your mouth. Oh, wow. That's good. Mm. That's really nice. Sorry. You could serve that as a dessert just by itself. It's really yum, guys. And the, the light and fluffiness of the donut with that small slither of apple. The apple, surprisingly, um, and I've used a pink lady apple. The apple is surprisingly, the taste has gone through the donut better. So that 15 minutes of sitting there has just made it bang on. So go out, get yourself some Mrs. Rogers cinnamon because that was easy as pie. And have a great weekend.